I be that young rapping dude, might just trap with you. Coming with the thunder, baby, might just snap it through. I roll out in the morning light with that Harley bike, all black. I'm the party type, and it's on tonight. I just stepped in no weapons, but my outfit might take the soul. See my presence impressive, got strippers slipping off the of poles. I just whip, then I swerve and wish you would. I'm Timmy Turner, turned her to a carnivore. Now she treat me like a burger. I don't know their names, but they all want to ride. All this energy around me, I feel so alive. This must be the vibe, this must be the vibe, this must be the vibe, yeah. Hey what's up guys, Darkbreaker here and for today's video we're going to play Marja in the solo lane going for the poke build, uh, poke enchantment in combination with Boomstick, Kekates, tons of damage, we also have Barrel for the percentage damage and then Rias for uh, lifesteal, enter heal for penetration and yeah like, like I said enter heal. So I'm just going to poke this Wonder Woman down. Playing against Wonder Woman, Kira, uh, Zeta, Slims. Going to be annoying to be honest. We're just trying to keep our distance and try to poke as much as possible. I mean, I'm level 1 Marja, I can't really help you, buddy. I'm just a level 1 Marja, how am I supposed to help you? How am I? You then was such, a, such an int invade. Was such a bad invade. Uh, such a bad invade. I Marja. I can use one one Q, one S one, and then I can't do anything anymore. I'm just level one Marja. How am I supposed to help you? Like if you're if you're invading, obviously the enemy sideliner is going to be quicker most of the times. And amazing ultimate, but hopefully we will get the kill. Nice, we got the kill. Uh, good ultimate by Zephyrus, but we still managed to get that juicy kill for us. Going to proxy this wave just so we can roam for the mid lane. Dragon is going to spawn in 20 seconds. We'll, we will have priority in the side lane. Um, yeah, roaming to the mid lane. My side lane has to defend the mini wave now. Otherwise, he's going to lose valuable minion gold slash experience. Dragon is going to spawn soon, uh, might as well clear the mid wave, so I will have level 4 for the next team fight, which might occur in the dragon pit. Maybe, maybe, guess not, guess not. Oh, Kira, yeah, Kira is at mini dragon, she got the mini dragon, but my teammates are going to get the juicy dragon, which obviously gives a lot of gold. One dragon equals... Uh, two kills in the early game later on even more up to five six seven kills in the mid late game so dragon is super important always try to take dragon if you get the kill and dragon oh wow that's so good kills and dragons oh oh can we do something here oh kira please leave us leave us kira don't kill us Nice Zephyrus ultimate, but he still managed to get a kill. Double kill for Zephyrus, maybe we can invade... Nah, never mind. Let's just go for the bot wave, clear it out, go back. This was actually... If the Wonder Woman used her hook right there, I probably would have got caught because I don't have ultimate yet. That was super risky by me, to be fair. Oh, okay, let's ultimate. My teammates are coming! Hello, surprise! Bye bye! Nice! Ah, uh, what I like about Marja is when you are low life, you will get so much movement speed. So, the lower you are on Marja, the more movement speed you are getting, and the harder it is for opponents to kill you. So, Marja, when low life, it's so hard to chase her down and kill her. I think the moment you have Rias, it's probably the best moment on Marja because you will have so much sustain. Your S1 already has magic lifesteal, you will sustain using your S1. But Rias and S2 in teamfights, 
US2 is splash damage, AoE splash damage, and in combination with Rias in a team fight, you will heal so much. So when you're low life, you can just spam your skills non-stop, kite around, and get ton of life steal. So Marja used to be one of my favorite heroes in the sideline actually when she was uh, one of the best picks there. But that's like so long ago. Wait, how long is it? Almost two years ago, when they, almost two years ago, Marja was one of the best picks in the sideline. Almost two years ago now. It's crazy. No Frontino, no Yina, no Richter. No, actually, there was Richter. There was Richter, but no Yina, no Florentino, and yeah, Marja was an absolute beast back then. Wait, was the Florentino already? Let me think. I don't think so. There was no Florentino. Oh, he was not allowed. I think he wasn't allowed in tournaments back then. Yina? Was Yina allowed? Wait, when did Yina come out? Uh, Yina came out 2018 summer, Florentino came out uh, spring, before spring, maybe like February or March 2018, but he was not allowed in Vela series, yeah, he wasn't allowed in the Vela series, or am I just wrong right now, 2019, no! No, 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 wait. Timeline, timeline, timeline. Let me think again. No, Florentino came out 2019. Not 18, 19. I'm wrong. That's when Marja, Vela Series Brazil, it was 2018. Vela Series 2. Vela Series 3, Florentino came out before that. And that was 2019. Yeah, but he wasn't allowed. And Yina came out this summer. And she was playable at AIC. Yeah, exactly. Now we have it. Now we have it. Marja was the most broken. Uh, fall 2018. Fall 2018 solo lane. Oh, we are today we are history breaker. Talking about... Esports and Marta release, Montino Yina release, history breaker. Wow. So, since I'm a boomer, you can ask me any questions about history. I know them all. I know them all. The history of Arena Vela. I have a master of art in uh, history. If you guys didn't know yet. Master of Arts in History. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, no need to. Uh, I, I, I'm not. Try, I'm not trying to break here, but you guys already know. You can make, call me History Breaker or Boomer Breaker. You guys already know. So, when would you like to be my pupil? My, my pupil. I will teach you. Because I'm history breaker, I know all, all of, <laughs> all of Arena Vela. Actually, lately I have been watching a bunch of documentaries about um, World War Two, World War One. So much stuff. It's actually like I was watching like animation of war progress during World War Two, for example. It's pretty exciting it's actually really exciting or something like what could have been if xxx did this and this for example what could have been if germany didn't invade russia uh, they would still lose but i mean russia would have still tried to uh probably like they were building up their army since um I think in the 40s they tried to build up the army and then uh, Germany already tried to invade them but if they had more time and build their army like because their ideologies just clashed together there was a fight was going to happen no matter what and then by that time when Russia is ready and build up the army they have so many mans oh boy we're history breaker 
Hey, hey, hey! History! Actually, back in school, I didn't find history that exciting, but I have to say the teachers were not. Like, actually in the... In my last two years I had history as like basic course. Actually then I had a really good teacher, we had like uh, colonization in America, South America, uh, Inquisition, that was actually pretty exciting. But like before I had a really boring teacher to be fair, ah, back then. But now when you're watching animated videos and stuff like that, oh actually history is really exciting. But it always depends on the teacher. But if you have teacher breaker here, he's going to make the classes exciting. You will tune in, like for my videos as well. You are going to subscribe, like and activate the notification bell so you don't miss out on teacher breaker. History breaker is going to teach you everything you need to know. Anyways, that's going to be the game about Maza, we just we just stomped them so hard, so there was not much to talk about, and Maja's a pretty simple hero anyways. So, if you guys enjoyed this gameplay, leave a like, subscribe, and i see you next time. Bye bye, have an awesome day. Choo choo!